So yeah, this is the follow-up on the exhaust back pressure testing. And as I mentioned earlier, I did install the 60 millimeter wastegate on the downpipe, the first bend, as a boost activated uh, cutout valve, and it sure did some difference. My findings were that um, I dropped the back pressure in the downpipe by 0.3 bars and uh, in the exhaust manifold, which I measured as well, and you will see it, uh, it dropped actually 0.8 bars of back pressure with that scenario I was running, uh, which is a lot. It truly came alive on the top end. Uh, here are the videos. for my setup in terms of flow and pressure and keeping the boost up and so on um, and uh, of course while running a quite stiff spring you also add a little bit to the pressure ratio as to, you try to keep the flap more shut um, but it's quite obvious here uh, with what happens in mine how is the pressure ratio uh, causes the um, back pressure from the downpipe to elevate the exhaust manifold pressure. If in doubt, I encourage you to uh, do your own back pressure testing and uh, exhaust manifold pressure measuring and so on. Um, and you will see, and you will see truly what happens. Uh, as for now, I actually went back to the stock manifold and I still run the 15T and um, uh, also, also the stock manifold is ported quite a bit uh, but I managed to do some great acceler acceleration times 100 to 150 kilometers per hour in 4.4 flat and uh, yeah, I know 390, 400 horsepower on the 95 wagons is about four seconds flat to 4.1. Well, until next time.